Hey guys, it's Caitlin from the Texas Forestry Museum. Today we're going to talk about two common animals from East Texas. So the first we're going to talk about is the Eastern Fox Squirrel. Here's a picture of one. As you can tell, they have a nice kind of brown color to them. Um, I actually have an Eastern Fox Squirrel hide that I'll show you. Now it doesn't look as brown as in the picture, but if you look at the underbelly of an Eastern Fox Squirrel, they have that nice um, red color on their underbelly. So. Uh, Eastern fox squirrels are common for this area. They are the largest of tree squirrels, so they are a little larger than our gray squirrels that you might see. Also, what's interesting is their body is 10 to 15 inches long, and then their tail is 9 to 14 inches long. So they're rather a long body, but they only weigh up to tops 3 pounds, so they're not very heavy. And that helps with them climbing, and their tail really helps them with their balance. So um, it's definitely something very important for them to have. Another interesting fact about the uh, Eastern Fox Squirrel is their teeth are like all other rodents' teeth. They're chisel-like and self-sharpening. They also continuously grow throughout their life. So kind of like our fingernails, squirrels' teeth will actually continuously grow. And how they keep them nice and short is by what they eat. So can you guess something hard that maybe a squirrel eats? If you guessed acorn, you're actually right. So acorns, walnuts, hickory nuts, um, those actually help keep teeth short. Also, they like to eat birds, eggs, insects, berries, corn. Um, so they'll eat a lot of variety of foods. So that's our eastern fox squirrel. Now the next animal we're going to talk about is our northern raccoon. So this guy is kind of common that we might see um, in the city. Uh, so I actually have a uh, northern raccoon hide. So how we can tell that this is a northern raccoon is from its mask, its markings on its face, and then also its ringed tail. So raccoons are very interesting animals. They're a little different than us because they are a nocturnal animal. And nocturnal means that that animal goes out and about and is awake at night, but during the day they're asleep. So whereas our eastern fox squirrel is a diurnal animal, just like humans, we're awake during the day and more active during the day and we sleep at night, the raccoon is opposite, being nocturnal. So they sleep during the day and go out at night. Another thing to mention about um, sorry, the raccoons is that they really love to climb up in trees and sunbathe during the day. Um, it doesn't mean that they have anything wrong with them. It just means that that's something they enjoy. So if you do see one up in a tree during the daytime, it's probably just trying to catch some sun. Um, another thing about raccoons that we all kind of think about is they really like to get into garbage. They're very opportunistic animals, and that means that if they can find food in a garbage can, um, they will actually go for it and look for it in there. Um, so they're looking for something easy, but they also really love to eat berries, fish, crawfish, um, insects. So they do eat a lot of different um, types of things, and that also makes them an omnivore. Because if you eat berries, which is a plant, or from a plant, and also if you like to eat fish, then you're an omnivore because you eat plants and meat. So I hope you enjoyed getting to learn a little bit about our two fun animals that are really common. We'll have a couple more that I'll be able to show you in a couple of other videos. So I hope you have a nice day. Bye!